Hey everybody, it's Glenn, and I am back today with Rage here, my latest custom action figure. If you're not familiar with Rage, he first appeared in the Avengers comic book in 1990. He um, kicked it with the Avengers for quite a few issues before being... Um, shunted off to the New Warriors and then pretty much disappearing into comic book oblivion. Um, so Rage, his backstory, he was a nerdy 14 year old kid, collected comic books. Sounds familiar, right? <laughs> um, at least to me it does. Um, I'm sure to many of you it will. Um, he was um, bullied, you know, it happens, nerds get bullied. Um, anyway, to dodge his bullies, he hid in a creek. Um, coincidentally, this is the Marvel Universe, so the coincidence is, while hiding in the creek some kind of company was disposing of toxic waste into said creek resulting in 14 year old boy becoming rage um so this toxic waste he mutated into the adult form we see here and became superhuman, superhumanly strong um, and familiar to the Hulk his superhuman strength increases with his rage um, hence the name Rage so now taking a closer look at Rage here as a custom action figure he is bit of a Frankenstein's monster, um, quite a few different parts kit bashed from different figures. The head there is from the Hulk Legends Wendigo. Bit of an odd choice for head but I think that works out pretty well. And then his upper body down to just beneath his pecs is from the Batman Mattel Bane figure. That's the um, pre DCUC figure you might be familiar with. And then from beneath his pecs down is a Sinister Six Venom Legends figure. And then below the knees, those are. Hulklands from the Young Avengers box set, lower legs and feet. Um, this jacket here, I'm not sure where that came from. Um, came out of my fodder box or fodder boxes. I've got a shitload of them. Um, and if you've been kicking it on with action figures as long as I have, you end up when you're customizing with loads of random stuff that. Um, you have no idea where it came from originally but the jacket I cut that down cut the sleeves off and also um, rubberized it with liquid latex which kind of gives it more of a level look and also allowed me to um, kind of sculpt it into shape a bit more um, I know some people prefer fabric clothing on um, figures um, I myself prefer the, um, if they're doing kind of long jackets or capes, them to be rubber. I never think textile works well on kind of six inch scale action figures. I think the textile fibers are just too big to um, really work. And the um, fabric clothing, I think, always looks a bit big and awkward and clumsy. Whereas the kind of rubber capes and long coats, it's kind of purpose sculpted for that figure and there's a lot more shape and style to them. 
and that's why I went through the process of rubberizing this jacket you see here. Bit of an odd look on Rage, I always thought. He's kind of part um, badass street thug and then part bring out the gimp. Um, you don't know if he's going to be kicking the crap out of a gang in um, Harlem or he's going to be cruising for fresh white meat down at the docks. Who knows? So that's my rage recipe. Here's a setup I did with rage facing off against the Hulk. Seemed appropriate that they would square off since they um, pretty much share the same superpower. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. As ever, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.